Hey friends, welcome to Social Videos. My name is Joan and today we're going to be making some DIY roses. I saw someone doing this on TikTok and I decided to try it for myself to see if it really is that easy and also to give some people who are looking for a more thorough tutorial a full-on video about it. This is probably my most favorite DIY that I've done in a while. Like, look at these. These, This literally looks like real. Let me know if you guys end up trying the DIY or if you have any questions down in the comments below. And with that, let's just get on with it. So to start, you're going to need some wooden dowels, a glue gun, some green paint and a paintbrush, a satin ribbon the color of your choice, a lighter, and also a card and some scissors. We're gonna start by making our stem. So I'm just gonna take these wooden dowels that I got from the dollar store. They're pretty thin, you can kind of choose your own size, and I'm just gonna basically paint them green. When painting, make sure you put on a nice, even coat and cover up any part of the wood. After letting it dry for a few minutes, you might notice that the wood still kind of shows through and the paint kind of dries a bit patchy, so I'm going to go in with another coat of paint. Once we're done with that, we're going to move on and make the actual roses. So here I got some 38 millimeter wide satin ribbon. In my opinion, this is the best width, but if you do have something thicker, I do show later in the video how to deal with that. You're gonna notice that there's two sides, one that's a bit more shiny and one that's a bit more scratchy. So taking our card, I'm basically gonna have the scratchy side facing on the card and then just kind of wrap it around the length of the card. Once I've done that a few times, I'm gonna snip off the rest of the ribbon and then basically snip off at the top of the card and then at the bottom. After doing this, you should get equal sections of the ribbon cut out. So taking one of our pieces of ribbon, I'm gonna have the rough side facing upwards with the softer satin side facing the table, and I'm basically gonna fold up my petals. So taking one end, we're gonna fold one corner upwards, just like so, and then I'm gonna take the bottom corner that's still left behind and connect it to the top of the corner I just folded. Now I'm gonna keep that pinched together and then take my lighter and basically burn kind of the edge of the ribbon and it's gonna turn into this waxy material which I'm gonna use my scissors to just kind of patch on. The idea is that you wanna keep the petal folded like so. The wax acts like a glue and it should stay in place afterwards. Then I'm gonna do the same folding to the other end of the piece of ribbon and repeat the lighter process. Since we're working with fire and a lighter, please be very, very careful not to burn yourself or not to catch anything on fire. If you need an adult to help you out, please ask them to do it. Otherwise, I would just say be careful because my first few times, I started burning the ribbon very easily and it was not a fun experience. But thankfully, I kind of got the hang of it as I continued to make more and more petals. You kind of get used to the distance that you just want to slightly melt your ribbon at and then use scissors not to burn your hands to kind of spread the wax around. And then you basically repeat this process for all of your pieces of ribbon. Now, once you have a good amount of petals, we're gonna basically grab our glue gun and start putting the petals together. You're gonna wanna be gluing one side of the petal and then basically attaching another petal on top to make kind of a semi-circle ring. Also, please be careful when you're using a glue gun, it can also get really hot and we don't want anyone to get any burns. So again, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit amount of hot glue onto the petal and then attach the next petal on top. 
Also make sure to hold down the petal while the glue dries just to make sure that it's fully glued on properly. And you're gonna continue gluing in an arc shape until you've got about 12 to 15 petals glued together. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Once everything's glued together, you're gonna actually flip over the petals. Now this was a key thing that I low-key forgot, so make sure you do this step before you start gluing with your stem. The idea is that we're gonna take our wooden dowel and basically twist our petals and glue them together so that the petals kind of open up into a flower. Since I forgot the step the first time I tried it, I did it without flipping the petals over, and as you can see, it did not go very well. I think I glued them the wrong way or I twisted the wrong way. I should be twisting from the back and that the folded edges that we saw should be facing the front or like the outside of the flower. This is why, this is why TikTok tutorials, I'm always just like, this is why I make these videos. It's because TikTok tutorials are confusing. Maybe I'm also just giving myself an excuse to try and not feel as dumb. Cause I was like, there's no way that this looks so tight and it just doesn't look exactly correct. I did the wrong way. Lesson learned, we're gonna keep making petals and do it the correct way. So doing it the right way, before I glue anything, I'm first gonna twist my petals around my wooden dowel just to see what my flower's gonna look like at the end. If I want it bigger, I'm just gonna add a few more petals onto my ring and then get started gluing the dowel on. So I'm first gonna put a thin line of glue on the bottom of the first two or three petals, and then I'm gonna take my wooden dowel, place it on the very end, and then start twisting. When you're twisting, try not to go too fast. You wanna be pretty careful with it and just make sure that the bottom of the petals kind of line up with each other. Otherwise, you're not gonna keep that rose shape together. Once you've reached the end of the part that you've glued, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and just do the same thing over and over again with the rest of the petals and just keep on twisting. As you continue twisting, rolling, and gluing, you're gonna notice your rows coming together. Once you glue on that last petal, you're gonna see that you have your basic rows. And so just an added thing that I wanted to do, I felt the rows looked really small, so I'm just gonna add a ring of petals at the bottom. I'm gonna use the same technique as I did to make the actual rose, but instead just only put together four or five petals, glue that together into its own ring, and slip it through the bottom of the dowel so that it rests on the bottom slash outside of the rose that we already have. Kind of adds a bit more volume and kind of makes the rose seem a bit more full. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom inside of the ring and then glue it onto the flower. So I'm done with the first rose. It does definitely look a little bit better than the original that we started off with. But yeah, so if this is any proof that, again, DIYs aren't always gonna go the way you think they're gonna go the first time, this is real life proof that that happens to me too. But yeah, this, that's basically why I make these videos, is to kind of show you guys the mistakes that are made and the trials that you have to go through to kind of get DIYs, especially if the tutorials aren't very clear or you just kind of want more explanations. So tried it for the first time, failed, but second iteration i would say a pretty decent success and adding that outer layer just gives it a lot more volume and i think it looks honestly really freaking cool it kind of looks a little ratchet on the back but that's why i think you can get like fake leaves or if you want to make like your own leaves and just stick it at the bottom just to cover that up for now i think we'll stick with this and i'll just keep making more roses and now I'm just gonna show how to make the roses with thicker ribbon. So this is 50 millimeter wide ribbon. It's obviously bigger than the petals that we had before. The biggest difference is that you can't use the card method to cut up your pieces of ribbon. You're gonna need to fold up your ribbon and kind of guess around the length that you'll need and then start folding from there. This is because if you use the card method, your pieces are gonna be too short. So when you do the folding for the petals, it's not gonna look right. But once you're done that, the process is basically the same. You're gonna basically cut your wrapped ribbon on both ends so that you have your pieces of ribbon, and then you can go ahead and make your rows. And like before, we're just gonna fold up our pieces of ribbon, melt the edges so that they stick together, and make our petals. When we're done making the petals, we're gonna basically glue them together into an arc 
and I'm also gonna make a mini ring to kind of add to the bottom of the flower. And then we're just gonna glue the bottom of the petals, wrap it around our dowel and roll it up into a rose. you've have your very own DIY rose. And if you're like me, I made a few more roses to kind of make a mini bouquet as kind of gift. It's also really good for decor and I think it's just a cute DIY overall. Let me know if you guys try it yourself and how it goes. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'll try my best to help you guys out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.